Let's have a look at the 2014 C case assortment for Matchbox. This way you get an idea of what will be in the mix when they hit your area. That is, if they show up in your stores. I know that some countries don't, uh, Mattel doesn't sell Matchbox in every country. Nonetheless, let's uh, take a look here. See the ambulance from the last case of Sorman is in here. That's nice. I don't recognize that orange thing. There's the uh, green hydroplane. Uh, is it a hydroplane? I forget. Orange Porsche still in the mix. There's a few. Uh, there's a few cases in a row. That's all right. Nice car. I'd rather have this in a few cases in a row than some of the other releases. This one just might be the pick of the litter. Here we have the 56 Buick Century police car. Yep, yep, yep. It's been in black, it's been in white. I think the black one was uh, better than the white, but this blue one, I think the blue one's going to give me a run for my money as far as the favorite so far of the three colors. That's not including, that's not including um, the special release that was for a Matchbox collector's show. I forgot to show you the name, Porsche 911 GT3. I'm sure you guys seen it anyways. Let's see what do we have here. A couple more of the Pit King. Again, I'm a fan of these kind of models that have areas in the back for you to, to tow your other toys. Maybe put yourself uh, some... What could you put in the back of there? You put some speedies in the back. You can put your little heroics figures. Amphif Flyer. This is a... Uh, this is one that mm, maybe it fits in two case coats, not three, okay? And for flyer, another one. Here's the ground grind grinder. This might have been in the last assortment, didn't memorize it. But you're going to see that this uh, blue yellow color scheme is going to be carried across several Matchbox models. And it's going to have that INC, INC construction logo right there. I don't know if my camera is going to be able to get the construction. There you go. That logo is going to be carried across several models. I think about uh, 10 to 12 all in all. Uh, including some 5-pack cars. So if you kind of like want to collect a sub-segment. Like, like this model right here. This was in the last uh, assortment. The uh, Questor. It has the opening hatch in the back. This uh, forestry type color. This has been used for a few years. And some people like to collect... Uh, every model that comes out in this color. It's kind of like a, a, a sub-segment way to collect. The Jeep Wrangler Superlift was in last month's assortment as well. I say last month, but uh, I, actually, I actually haven't counted to see how many cases there are per year for Matchbox. I'm not sure. C-Spy looks like a new model to me. But it does. It says MBS Explorers. Um, what they did in the last case assortment, they had a model that said 2013 something in the corner because it was it was an ish. It was a release from. Sorry, something almost fell off the table. There was something last month that said 2013 because it was a 2013 new model. But uh, this one, I don't recognize it. It says, oh, you know what? Copyright 2013 on the base. So I think uh, I think this is the first release. It's a little hard to see with the white, but over here it's got some rope on the deck. It might have some rope over here as well. Looks like a fun model. Tapo says M62, I believe, M62 Excursion called the Sea Spy. We're taking a little longer look at it because it's a new model. I wonder if that orange cage pops off. I doubt it. But um, I'm sure some entre, some uh, <laughs> some devious people are going to get that to pop off. Mound mover. This was definitely in the last assortment. I like that one, especially when it's in an authentic yellow construction color. The Ford F550 ambulance. That was in the last assortment. So I'm glad that one's in uh, extras because uh, just as I suspected, quite a few people said in the comments of the last video that they'll be picking up that ambulance. Here we have the Aston Martin DBS Volante. They all have the same wheels there. Let's get a close-up of one of them. 
convertible model. You got uh, side view mirrors. A little hard to tell, but it does have uh, does have side view mirrors sticking off the side of the windshield. Got Tampo headlights. I'm sure Tampo taillight. Mm -hmm. Might be a little something special for you to pick up. Here's another couple of yellow construction vehicles. Road roller. Hey, I just picked up those uh, cat toys. And I think that that one had a road roller as well. Another ambulance. Here we go. Down to 12. Hey, another new model. Blockade Buster. Nice to see a, a new military model. Let's take a close-up of one of them. I'll open one up, but it looks like the base is plastic. This part here looks plastic. I mean, this looks metal. This looks plastic. It looks like the base is actually two parts. You have the body and then the base. This looks plastic. Again, 2013 copyright on the base. And over here it says blockade buster. Yeah, four wheels. Gets you to roll on the ground. Doesn't have uh, treads. But it's got wheels to roll around. I'll bet you that turret spins. It should. I wouldn't... <laughs> I don't think people would be happy if it doesn't. Oh, four. Four in a box. Fantastic. Hopefully that increases your chances at finding one on the pegs if you so desire to add this to your collection. Toyota, 85 Toyota 4Runner. This one has been in the mix for a while. There's another Volante. Hey, the two-story bus is back. This is a replacement for the Route Master, Route Master. These don't hang around on the pegs for long at all. And I know there's uh, bus fans that will want to pick that up. All right, let me open up a uh, Blockade Buster, check it out. Actually, why don't we go ahead and check out the Sea Spy as well. Sea Spy, Seashore by the Seashore something. This one also has uh, wheels so that you can scoot it along and the blockade buster matchbox much easier to open up on the bottom hot wheels are easier to open up on the top let's uh, zoom in here should give this a pull nope doesn't pop off they got it hooked in there real good just just so you know for uh, safety considerations for uh, kids on top Got some things on top as well. Can't make them out. This actually, uh, this looks like a um, lifeguard safety buoy type thing. I should know my kids are lifeguards. Hey, you got uh, three turrets in the back. Three turrets. Three, three motors. I was going to say turbines, not turrets. Turrets would be more something on this guy here. Ready? Let's see. Yep, there it goes. Any elevation? Nope. You better be shooting somebody on the same level as you then. But yeah, plastic base, metal body, plastic turret. Let's do some strafing. <clears throat> well, actually, he doesn't do a machine gun, huh? It's probably more like a... That's kickback, right? <laughs> Anyways, a little look at the top. Nice details. Might be too wide for the track. Let me grab a piece over here. This way you guys get an idea how wide it is. Here's a piece of track. Oh, it fits, but it's dragging. Here's scraping. Are these not rolling? You know, they don't roll. This one's not rolling, it's stuck. Is this supposed to be making noise or something? Or is it a uh, production error? I suspect it's a production problem. Or do you think that's supposed to be him? Do you think that's supposed to be him shooting at his target when it makes that sound? Let's check the back. Let's see if it says anything on the back. Look out, it's an emergency. Massive fire engines zoom over bridges to quickly battle the blaze. Across town, this is not for this. Across town, sirens wail as police cars race to the scene of a crime. Ambulances are 
quickly on the move, rushing patients to the hospital and always ready to save the day. That's for the uh, subset here for uh, Heroic Rescue. I'll do it like this so you don't have to turn upside down. So that little uh, blip is not for this model here. It's probably generic for that. But I wonder uh, if you pick one up. Check it out. See if it makes that noise. I suspect that's intentional. Just because it just kind of seems too deliberate. But the wheels are really tiny for it to be on a gear like that. I don't know. And I don't want to drill this one apart. I like it too much. I'll let somebody else drill one apart who uh, likes to drill it apart. This went too wide for the track. You can see we're touching on both sides. But let's see if it makes a noise. Yeah, it kind of makes a noise too. And it's got the it's got similar small wheels. I suspect that it's just the uh, wheels. They're not really made to roll. I mean, you can push it along. You can scoot it. But it's not really made to roll. Anyways, that's my look at the 2014 C case Matchbox assortment. Thanks for watching. What's your favorites? I almost forgot. What's your favorites? You gonna pick up Blockade Buster? Just curious. I'm sure that this one's gonna be hard to find. Have a good one. Bye bye.